Hello, my name is Thayne and I like to experiment with AI art. Today's topic will be image prompting along with some tips and tricks and do's and don'ts. I got inspiration for this topic from the new slash blend command that was accidentally released by Midjourney this week. At first it was only available on the Niji bot, but it was released for the Midjourney bot as well on 12th of January 2023. It was officially announced a few days later on 15th of January 2023. But let's take a look at how the new feature works. Basically you just go ahead and write slash blend into Discord. When you press the enter key, you will get this kind of UI. You can either drag images to the visible boxes from your file system folder. Or you can drag images to the visible boxes from the browser window. And you can always just click on the box and select your image from the open file pop-up window. To get more than two boxes visible, click on the three more after the box for image 2 and select image 3, image 4 or image 5 from the selection that appears. You can select up to five images for blending with this command. You can also just type them yourself. And here are some examples of images I blended together. My biggest takeaways from this new feature after shortly playing around with it are. The new blend feature somewhat simplifies the image prompting with this kind of UI. But it is clear that it is quite incomplete and probably just unfinished at this point. For example, Currently you can only get square aspect ratio images and you cannot change the aspect ratio. I tried adding it to the end of the blend prompt, after the images, but it just ignored it. You also cannot give it any text like you can do when you normally do image prompts. It simply ignores whatever you type in. You can use images with different aspect ratios than square, but you will get some very big borders in your image 99% of the time. As Midjourney stated as well in the patch notes, the new feature just brings some ease of use for mobile users especially. You can do the same things with the normal image prompting and get the exact same results. But you are able to change the aspect ratio and you can also combine text prompting with your image prompts. So next let's look at how you would do the image prompting the normal way. For image prompting, you will need a link meaning URL address to an image ending with ping, JPG or GIF. In a browser, you can do this by right-clicking on an image and selecting copy image link. If you have an image on your computer, you can upload it to Discord by clicking on the plus sign in front of the text box and selecting the upload a file option. You then browse in your file system to your image, select it and click, open. When you press, enter, the image will be uploaded to Discord. And then you can get the link of the image by right-clicking on the uploaded image and selecting the copy link option. Then you type in slash imagine and paste your link. Don't worry if it is very long, it's okay. You should then rinse and repeat as many times as you would like. There is no limit like with the blend feature apparently. Or just enter some text to start the image generation. Keep in mind that you cannot image prompt with only one image, you will get an error if you attempt to do so. You also don't have to put the image link first, you can put it anywhere, but it will divide your prompt into multi-prompts if you put the link in the middle. So why would one image prompt? Because you can get completely different results in your image that you simply would not get, or would have a very hard time doing so. Let's do an experiment. I have generated two images. This one is just one word, abstract, with seed 777 and of course an aspect ratio of 3 to 2. I selected this image for the experiment from the four. This one is also just one word, forest, with seed 777. And out of those, I selected this image for the experiment. So when I image prompted the first, abstract, image with text prompt forest and seed 777 I got this as a result. And the other way around, when I prompted the forest image with text prompt abstract and seed 777 I got this as a result. And this is the result when combining just two images together like the blend feature does, with seed 777, and changed aspect ratio. 
It looks like the order of the images does not matter, as you can see here, the image generated is almost identical to the one generated with different order of source images. And this image is created when typing in the two words together, abstract forest with seed 777. To be thorough, I also generated this image with the text prompt the other way around, forest, abstract with seed 777. So as you can see, you get totally different kind of images from image prompting compared to the same prompts with only text. Let's look at one more example. For this experiment I have generated an image of a bird. And I selected this image out of the four for the test. The second image is something for the background and it is blueprint. I selected this image for the test. So let's start off with combining the image of a bird with the word, blueprint, seed is still same for all the images. And here is the same thing, but the image of the blueprint combined with the word, bird. And now both the images together. This image was generated from the text prompt blueprint bird. And this image was generated from the text prompt bird blueprint. So looking at all the images side by side, the image prompted images have their own distinct look and feel which is different compared to the look of only text prompt. Now let's look at one more example where we combine two objects. Here is a selection of images with the word prompt, guitar. I have selected this image for the test. And here is a selection of images with the word prompt, octopus. Out of these, I have selected this one. This image was generated by combining the image of a guitar with the word, octopus. And this image is the opposite, meaning it is the image of an octopus combined with the word prompt, guitar. And yet again this is the image that was combined from the two selected images. This image was generated with the text prompt guitar octopus. And this image is the opposite, text prompt is octopus guitar. There is definitely a pattern here, Whenever you use image prompting, you will get drastically different images than you would get with just text. You probably could reverse engineer this somehow to get the results to look like the image prompts do, but currently I at least don't have any idea how to achieve that. Let me know in the comments if you know of tricks like that. And of course, if you have enjoyed watching this video so far, Please consider leaving a like or even subscribing to my channel for more content about very specific things about mid-journey. There is one more tip I have for you if you have a specific need to use the same images for prompting over and over again like I sometimes do. You can use a command called slash prefer option set. You can name it whatever you like and as the value you can put the URL of your image. This can be done for basically all the images you would want to have a shortcut for. Then you can just prompt for whatever you like and use your dash dash shortcut name to call for the image. And if you have multiple images that you would like to prompt at the same time, instead of doing this, you could set all of those as a shortcut with the dash dash prefer option set and call for them with only one shortcut. There does seem to be a limit of 8 images for this that I discovered during making this video. So I went and tested if you get an error then too if you just paste the URL list to your prompt. But it does seem to affect only the shortcut set by the prefer option set command. So I don't know if this tip will be useful for anyone at all. Maybe it is just easier to keep a list of image URL links you would like to use in a notepad and paste them all at once. But the main takeaways I would like to leave with you are. Blend is just a simplified way of image prompting. Image prompting gives some interesting results. And always use source images that have the same aspect ratio as you would like to create. I hope you found this information useful to you and you will have lots of fun experimenting with image prompting and blending images. Let's continue prompting.